So I'm out here today and I'm trying to build the exhaust for this truck. And I bought it I bought an exhaust kit that had some 45, some 90s and some U-bends. And it's a nice fla uh, flared pipe so it slips into each other, makes it a little easier to assemble. And then I got a couple of used flow masters that I'm, I've already cut one end off where it was welded and I need to cut this other end off. Um, and I picked up these, these tailpipes come in. A, I got them from a scrap place years ago. Um, it was a big old stack of tailpipes and I just grabbed up some. Um, the exhaust is two and a half and the tailpipes are threes. But, um, I'm trying to figure out if I can use them. They look like they might work. It's gonna be a little tight. And if the suspension, we'll just have to, we'll have to see. But I'll get, uh, I guess I'll trim and see what we got. I probably, probably need to cut this, this uh, 45 here a little shorter because my bend on my tailpipe is getting close here. Um, I don't have but four 45s all together. And uh, th this pipe right here would have one, three, four, there's four 45, five 45s in this one pipe right here if I re remade the whole thing. So let me, let me see what we got and we'll see what we got. All right, if we use the pieces from the kit, we come in with a 45 like that, come out and end in a 90. Oh, maybe, maybe we could use a 90 down here. Hang on. All right, because I'm using uh, used mufflers. <laughs> it's going to take a minute. I've got to, uh, I've got, uh, I've got the pipes. I got the front prepped already. But where they welded the back, I've got to grind this, grind this weld down. So I can get this pipe where I can use it, or this muffler where I can use it. And then we'll get back to test fitting this thing. Like I said, I don't know which, uh, which exhaust would work better. Um, but I won't know until I prep this muffler to work. I mean, to clean it up to where I can fit it together. So hold tight. All right, so I kind of got it trial fitted up, and that, that might just work. Um, work on my angles a little bit more, but it's, it's tied up against here, but I think... Like I said, I think I can make it work. Um, that's kind of low in the back. But, I don't know. I might, I could, might could make that, might could make that work. Hmm, Maybe. Turn my muffler up some more. Um, maybe. I don't know. So 
so I got the head pipes on my exhaust run on one side. I, I like the way that looks. I'm um, trying to figure out how to do my tailpipes, but it's getting dark on me. I had to run and get some uh, wire today, and then, like I said, using using uh, used mufflers, I'm having to cut a bunch of crap off of them to make them where I can use them. So it's taking a little while to um, fix them where they'll work. Uh, that pipe looks really good. I think I'm going to come off of that with two 90s. And then uh, I can come out the back, come out either behind the tire or all the way out the back. I hadn't decided yet. But I like the way that looks. Muffler's way up and out the way. Pipes are way up out the way. So I don't think there's going to be any problem with that. So we'll do the other side tomorrow and then weld everything up because I've only welded these two 45s. To, I welded two 45s together, welded the muffler and a little extension piece on that muffler. So I got the um, weld two joints right here at the collector and at that 45 there and uh so but we're getting it uh got our dipstick in just plugging away at, at it uh but we're not far we're not far from getting ready to have the cab on here so like i said we'll do the other half of the exhaust tomorrow and like I said, I'm trying to figure out the tailpipe, so we'll show you more tomorrow because I'm losing daylight. All right. All right, so we still working on the exhaust here on this uh, 71 Cheyenne. And... Well, I'm pretty much got it laid out the way I want as far as the head pipes go all the way back to the muffler so I'm going to weld another little stub on the back of this other muffler here and then um, I'll weld all the front part and then we'll, we'll worry about the tailpipes in a little bit I'm not quite exactly sure how I'm going to go with them but I know I like this. It's out from underneath the cab and it's uh under the bed, so we're good for now. We'll worry about the rest of it here in a little bit. So get this one piece cut, weld it on, and weld the well these two forty fives on and see how it goes. So I pretty much got my mufflers welded up. Um, I've got four joints, two on each head pipe here. And I'll be back to the muffler. And I think I'm going to try to turn it down and come out and come behind the tire some way or another. So we'll. We'll figure it out and we'll get it done. But that's what we got right now. And we're just getting it done a little bit at a time. It's raining again. So we're going to pick up the tools. I got to run to town and grab some stuff for the El Camino. And uh, I'll show you more as I go. Alright, so we got this thing all buttoned up now. When I loaded it up on the trailer, I bent this exhaust up, so I remade this pipe here. 
um, put a, four, a 90 or a CU bend actually and a piece of straight pipe in there. Not perfect, but it's up a lot higher than it was before, so. We got it, so we're gonna let it down, pull it, fill it full of training fluid and crank it up and see how it does.